everyone. This is C's. So I am at Walmart and I am looking for the mats so I can scratch on some mats. Hi Mark. Oh, I think I'm getting closer. I see. Hi, Pluto. Let me see. I'm looking for something with... Oh, I see something here. Oh, that sounds nice. There's a fan here, so... How's the sound on this? Can you actually hear this? I'm not really looking for anything. I mean, I did I did come here to look at the tablets and I saw the iPad mini and some other stuff. I'm looking at the tablets and the the laptops. I want something for my purse. I want something that's at least 10 inch, but I don't know, we'll see. So my husband's looking at them with the kids and I asked him if I could do a quick periscope. I think this stuff gets stuck under my fingernails. Thank you. I can't remember the name of it, but it is really pretty. And it looks like my camera's focusing very well. Usually I have a hard time focusing with my phone on Periscope, but it looks like it's doing a great job right now. Maybe I can do some tapping real quick. Everywhere I go here, it's fucking noisy. Like, I cannot get away from anywhere. I can't get away from the noise. It's ridiculous. Yes, it is noisy. Bambi.
this is just not a nice place for, you know, for videos. It's just not. We were supposed to go to Best Buy, but my husband decided he wanted to go to Walmart. So I'm at Walmart. Oh my gosh, I, I just jammed my fingernail into this. Could have broken that live on Periscope. I probably did break it, didn't I? I'll find out later. Oh, look at my nail glue. Oh, is it not focusing again? I don't know. I'll show you guys my nails again soon on my, what, April update. It is, it really is. Let me see if I can get my undersides again. Maybe that is what it looks like. Yeah, they, they just look really nasty underneath from all the glue. You know what I really like about summer is I don't have a grill, but I, I like looking at grills and like this one. I used to have one of these, but I, I, bought, I bought it from my mom, and then it broke, and then I gave it back to her. So I, I never actually, I never actually bought it in the end. I just, she, she just kind of let me borrow it, pretty much, because I gave it back. I have an umbrella over my picnic table. It's like a really old picnic table. I like these. These are cute. I don't have one of these. I have a hammock though. Let me see if. Oh, look at it. Look at this. I have something like this, but it's not that nice. It's it's more basic. I like these though. Isn't that gorgeous? Don't you just want one of these to tap your nails on it? Gorgeous. Oh, I have something like this. I have something like this. Or you just put the lid thingy on the top. I like these though. These are really nice. Aren't these gorgeous? I like these where you can just put like, um, you know, like your drink on top of that. That's pretty awesome. These are cute. I don't have space for that. I have a play area in my backyard, so it's more... My backyard is catered more to my to my kids. I know, the fire pits are gorgeous. And I don't have a lawnmower. I have a push lawnmower. Well, I guess I do have a lawnmower, but not, nothing like this. I have a old school push lawnmower. And I don't use these, I use scissors. Bye, Mark. And let me see. Yeah, I like this summer. I like all this stuff. It's just beautiful. Every year they come up with cuter stuff. Or like, it's still cute as the last year, but different design. It's always different. So I'm supposed to be doing a reading of the three little pigs. And I found two little pigs books. I'm going to do both readings. So I'm going to do one and then see what kind of response I get, if people actually care for the reading, and then if they like it, then I'll do the second book. So I think that'll be a lot of fun. Let's see if we can go outside. I think it'll be nicer out here. You can hear the birds. Oh, 
not much. Not much else. Oh, cherry trees and apple trees. Oh, how cute. They're only $20. And a pear tree. I don't have any pear trees. This is gorgeous. I have trees in my backyard, but it, they don't really give off fruit. They're still, they're still babies. They're pretty much that size right there, so they haven't really given me much. I like coming to the pet section to see if there's any cute shirts for my dogs. Let's see what they have. Actually, my dogs need Scooby snacks. I think this is all they have. Oh my gosh, look at how cute. I have three. Oh look, there it is. It's, it's, it's focused. I used to have four, but I gave one to my mom. I used to have a chihuahua. I gave him to my mom. He was, what did he do? He used to, um, he wasn't like really bad. He was gorgeous. He was beautiful. But he would snip at my kids sometimes and I really didn't like that. And he would have a lot of accidents in the house. He was just a troubled dog. I think the people who had him before just didn't really take care of him. We got him when he was six months old and his owner was a six year old kid. So he definitely need, he needed to be potty trained and he had some behavior issues and they actually named him Psycho and we found out why because he really was Psycho. But we tried to work with him for two years. We named him Taco and it just didn't work out and I ended up giving him to my mom. So, so right now we have three dogs. And they, they're all rescues. I get them from people who don't want them. I get them on Craigslist. And I paid $60 for Taco. And I ended up giving him to my mom. And then she gave him to someone else, like a friend of hers or something. Like if we wanted to, we could visit Taco. It's not like we don't know where he is. So he's, he's being taken care of. Oh my gosh, these are so cute! Look how expensive they are. Look at the cute doggy they use for that. I have a Pomeranian named Prancer, and I have two... Oh my gosh, my, my doggies look like this, sort of. Sort of like that. Um, maybe... No, not, not like that. My other two dogs are Shih Tzu and Chihuahua mi mixes. So, they look... They look really gorgeous. They look more Shih Tzu than Chihuahua because they're bigger. Chihuahuas are smaller, so they're definitely bigger, way bigger. So I didn't really see any shirts. And I have a cat that looks like this. His name is Gato. And Gato is gorgeous. He looks just like that. So I have a orange cat and, oh my gosh, there's another one right there. And another one right there. That is so cute. And I have a black cat and her name is Kitty. And I don't see any black cats here. I don't see any black cats. I don't think they use black cats for marketing, I guess. I don't know why, they're gorgeous. I guess we can look at the nail polishes since since I'm here. I have a dog who's a mix between Yorkie and Chihuahua. And his name is Howie. That is so cute. That is a very cute name. What a cute baby name, Howie. I like names that end with E. Like I named my daughter Josie. <laughs> Howie is cute. 
I think Pookie is another cute name. Like if you name a dog Pookie, I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it's not that cute, but I think it's cute. I thought this was a dark green. I got really excited, but it looks like it's just black. Black on black. This one looks like a dark green. This one is called Sin Sinful Shine. Sinful Shine Top Coat? How is this a top coat? It looks black. Maybe the bottle is black and then the inside is clear. So this is the Sinful Color... Sinful Color Stand. Oh, with gel. With gel technology. Soak free removal. And this is Sinful Shine. Color with gel tech. Oh, another gel thing. I don't I don't fuck with the gel. Not interested. I'm not interested. I think the whole gel thing is gorgeous, but I'm just not I'm not at that level. I'm just not there yet. The gel thing is like up here and I'm like eh, I'm like just not interested. I could care less. Yeah. Okay. Here's here's all this shit and a lot of this shit is really bad for you. Like you would think even Burt's Bees is good, right? Like, oh, it's Burt's Bees. It's not actually that good after all. It says no parabens, um, phthalates, petroleum, or SLS. I have I need to Google SLS, but I read the ingredients on this and it's actually not not that healthy for you anyway so I, I stopped fucking with the bird's bees the ones that i get are organic and non-gmo and literally are way better than this this uh, this actually is not really that good for you and it's four dollars you're gonna buy that you might as well be buying this shit right here and it's a dollar Oh, I think it's so cute how they have these little TVs when you go out. So my daughter has a cold, and I went to the store to get her some cough drops. And it was so tempting to get her these, because this is what I grew up with, right? And look, they're $1.54, and they're so cheap, but I got her some really, really nicer organic ones. And then I paid $4 for those bags. It was ridiculous. I love bath towels, I don't know, I think, like, whenever I go to, whenever, oh my gosh, people are looking at me like I'm crazy, that's really funny, this, this is, this is why I fucking hate coming to Walmart, everybody fucking stares like you're a fucking loony, right, it's like, when people go to Walmart, they think they have the privilege to stare, and I know I'm recording and I probably do look weird because I'm Mexican and everyone here is white. But still, they shouldn't fucking stare. Let's see. I don't see anything for my nails here. I thought they had a bigger section than this. I seriously thought they did. Maybe it's on the side. Aw, books, magazines. Aw, I love parks. I have a, I have a front porch. I want to make it really gorgeous like this. I bought mats, but they looked horrible. I ended up throwing them away. They looked so bad. It was ridiculous. They were really old. I bought them when we moved into the house, so <sighs> I got rid of them. I usually buy these. When I was in the military, I would buy these things, but I haven't bought any since, what, like seven years? I don't even... Oh, the one I said... The one I have has 80s. Like, it said the 80s. This one's the 70s. So the one I have is for the 80s. And I got it a long time ago, like, like maybe six years ago.
So I used to come here and I used to get my nail magazines, but they don't have it anymore. I used to get my husband uh, gun magazines. I don't, I don't, oh, guns and ammo. I think I used to get them that. And I think this one too. And I think I remember that one too. I don't see my, usually the nail magazines is next to like the hair stuff. So if you can find a hair magazine, then it'll be there. Mad magazines when you were younger. That is so cute. I've never, oh man, I learned, I started learning English when I was eight. And I think the first magazine I started reading, I was in eighth grade. So I was 13 and it was the 17 magazine. Yeah. I think I would have loved reading Mad. When I was learning English, there was a show I used to love watching. It was called The Wonder Years. Did you ever watch that? The Wonder Years? I, I fucking loved that show. They have it on Netflix now. I can watch that shit like all day. The Wonder Years. If you haven't seen The Wonder Years, I think you should watch it. I think everyone should watch it because it's just so adorable. Oh, you haven't watched it. You should you should watch it. In 1994, they made a the first remake of The Jungle Book, and it has that guy from Have you seen the movie Bruce Lee? Like the Enter the Dragon, I think it's called Bruce Lee, and it's this Filipino guy that plays Bruce Lee. He made a The Jungle Book m movie in 1994, and I cannot find that movie anywhere. I think they discontinued it. Then I did check Amazon, and it was like $150 on Amazon for that for that movie. But then I went on YouTube, and YouTube has that movie from beginning to end, so like the whole thing, and it's free. So I was watching that shit all night last night. The Jungle Book. It was awesome. I watched it on my tablet. Oh no, this is, oh it is here. That was one of my favorite movies when I was younger. Yeah, me too. I could watch that like every day. The Jungle Book. I loved it. Okay, let's see. Oh, I see some nail stuff here. Let's take a look-see. It says, dual sided, one side trims, the other side files. Oh my gosh, are you serious? I would never put my fucking nail in this. This is disgusting. Have you seen this before? What the f- No way. I would never. I would never trust this. No way, bro. Alright, let's see what else they have. Oh my gosh, I bet. Is that what this is? Roto Clipper? Yeah, it is. Yeah. I would never put my nails in that. Oh, look, here's this one says Naked Nails. Electronic manicure tool. Natural shiny nails. So it buffs your nails. That is so bad juju. No one should ever buff their fingernails. I can't believe they sell this shit. I can't believe people buy this shit. They pay money. They pay $14.88 and they take off layers of their nail and weaken their fingernails and that's supposed to be cool. Fucking idiots. Why am I here? Let's see. Petty Perfect. I don't see anything else for fingernails. You know, I know. I hate when they buff their nails too. It's 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 kind of sad. It's, it's pretty sad. I have a kid who loves Pokemon and every time I go to Goodwill, I always look for a Pokemon shit. And usually we always find at least one Pokemon book and he fucking gets really excited. He gets so excited like he went to Disneyland or something. I got him one of these on Amazon. I think I paid like $20 for it. Look. $11.98. That's fucking amazing. I almost want to get him this one.
I'm gonna get him this, and then when he misbehaves, I'm gonna show it to him and be like, look, I was gonna give you this, but now that you didn't behave, I'm not gonna give it to you anymore. Okay, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna hide it under my, oh no, they're gonna think I'm stealing it. I was gonna hide it under my blanket, but they might think I'm stealing it. I don't want anyone to think that. I'm walking around with a blanket. I got it from American Eagle. It's gorgeous. I use it to cover myself from the sun because I don't like I don't like the sun. I mean, I like I like it when it's sunny. I just don't want the sun touching my skin. It really is. It really is a cute blanket. It's really big too. It's ginormo. It's like a huge hanky, like a super-sized hanky. Here are las piñatas. Bailador divertido. Cute. Oh, I wanted it to do something, but it doesn't. Oh my gosh, how cute. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. Look, ten dollars. Oh no, it says it says fourteen ninety seven on there. This is so cute. And it's so soft. So cute and soft and it has a little cute baby hat. It has a cute baby tail. That is so adorable. This is the softest thing I've felt in a long time. How gorgeous. My kids love this stuff. They love Spider-Man. They don't really care for Ninja Turtles. They love Batman. They don't really care for that. They love SpongeBob. They love Five Nights at Freddy. I went to Spencer's the other day and I got my kids this Five Nights at Freddy blanket. They love it. They love it so much. That they actually have this song they listen to every day. It's the Five Nights at Freddy song. And they have those My Little Pony characters like singing to it. My kids love that song. It's hilarious. Let's see. Here's all the cute stickers. I used to collect stickers when I was younger. Not, I mean, I still have a collection, but I don't actually add to the collection every year. I kind of stopped adding to it. But I used to collect, I mean, I, I still have them. I still have some of these, and the, I have a lot of the scrapbooking. Do you send postal mail? I, I do send, like, when I do giveaways, I send, oh my goodness, I did a giveaway, and I sent something to, like, like Cuba or like some country out there, and the person never got it she never got it and I asked her like did you get it yet do you get it yet and she was like no but my post office is on strike and I thought that meant sh they were just gonna keep whatever I sent her so it turned out they didn't keep it they returned it to me so I paid $13 to send her something and they never her country's post office is on strike so they never gave it to her they sent it back to me Oh, that was so stressful for me to to see that I got my package back. I know, I was so upset. I told my husband, like, 
I, I failed her and she's one of my top commenters on YouTube and I was so happy for her that she had won that giveaway and I, I sent her that thing and I was so excited for her and then her post office is on strike so they returned it to me so I was not excited about that and this was over two months ago okay it wasn't even like I gave it I sent it a month ago it was way over way over. like I would have to look at the video to see which one which giveaway it was it was the one where I was giving away the I know right I was giving away a tea bag and nail glue so that you could so that she could mend her fingernails so I, I had gone to Sally Beauty Supply and I had bought extra stuff and I was going to give it away and she never got it. Yeah. Pretty disappointing. Can you believe... I know, it is messed up. Can you believe socks are so expensive? Like, why the... Why do they have to be so expensive? They're so soft. You know, when you're homeless, you really need socks. If you ever want to be nice to anyone homeless, all you got to do is just buy them some socks, and they would be so grateful. If you ever see socks that are, like, really cheap at Goodwill, and you can think of, like, a homeless person that usually stands at a corner begging for money, I mean, if you feel like being generous and you don't want to give them money because you don't know if they're drug de not, like, you know, druggies or whatever. You guys want to hear a really cute story? My husband told his mom that he liked wolves. And this was a long time ago when he was younger. So his mom never forgot. And every once in a while, his mom will get him, like, a shirt with a wolf. Like, something like this. And my husband will be like, oh, my goodness. Like, what the fuck? Why did she do that? Like, this is not something he would wear ever. But his mom buys him shit like this. Like, one, one Christmas, she got him a blanket, and when he saw what it was, it was a blanket with a big-ass wolf face on it. It was hilarious. <laughs> no, he doesn't have any tattoos. But, like, a long time ago, he told his mom that he liked wolves, and ever since then, his mom... Like, has a huge boner for wolves, and whenever she sees something, she will get it for him. It's super funny. It's the funniest thing ever. <laughs> I know, it's, it's so funny. That is so funny. Oh my gosh, she did it to me too. Like, one time I told her that unicorns were awesome, that they're pretty cool. So for Christmas, she got me the, the most fucking gayest jacket. And on the back of the jacket, it had a fucking unicorn on it. I looked at my husband, I was like, what the fuck? She gave me a white jacket with the unicorn in the back. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty funny. I was like, dude, I'm not wearing that. My husband laughed his ass off. That shit was hilarious. My phone's about to die, you guys. So I'm gonna cut off this periscope because I don't wanna I don't want it to cut off while I'm you know, periscoping. So this is it for this video, you guys. Bye! Thanks for stopping by.